fellow YouTube silver stackers, coin enthusiasts, and people who like Chinese stuff. This is my video response to Silverfish VT's video that he put out defending the community. I must be oblivious to this situation because when I'm on YouTube and I'm looking at different silver stack videos, I come across one that I don't care for or like. Guess what? I click on to the next one because, you know, no one's forcing you to watch it, comment, or be negative. I, I don't get why people have to be negative on something that doesn't even pertain to their life. Unless you're out there preaching that, you know, unless you're stacking that they're idiots. I mean, name calling is name calling. Although I haven't seen anybody really name calling. and I, 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 I've rarely left a negative or a thumbs down on a video unless it pertained to the Second Amendment rights. That's something totally different for me. Um, you know, I I guess you would call me a silver stacker, but I'm also a coin enthusiast. Um, I'm starting to get into numismatic coins, and I've been flipping a few items so that I can get nicer silver so to speak ones that command a higher premium like this one yes that's the newest and latest edition I didn't do an unboxing because really how many one ounce unboxings do you really want to see me do <laughs> I mean that's the way I stack I can't afford to unstack sheets and sheets of silver or or even 10, 20 bars. I mean, my biggest one to date was 15 ounces, and that was, you know, hefty for me. Normally, it's, you know, five or six ounces here and there. Or if I go to the Sharp and Shiny store, uh, or I should say the Bright and Shiny store, I uh, look for bargains. Other than that, I, you know, I just, I plot along and stack the way I can afford to. And if that offends people, because I'm not investing in you know, hundreds of bars at spot or below. First of all, I'd like to say I, I look around quite a bit and I've never seen at spot or below pricing. And if anyone knows where you can do that, oh, let me know because I would like to get some too. And uh, I, I don't really show my face either. It's, uh, it's not that I'm ashamed or... Uh, worried about people knowing who I am it's I'm saving you the aggravation of giving you and your your family years of therapy after viewing me <laughs> now if you really want to see my face pause my videos in a few certain spots you can see my my ugly mug in uh, the silver reflection and that's about as close as we'll ever get but getting back to the um, negative stuff, you know, like I said, I, I took 19 views before I got my first troll that told me that I was stupid and I, you know I, I'm I'm not a stacker. I'm a I'm a coin enthusiast, and you know I, I didn't even realize that I said anything worthwhile that anyone would even hate. I mean, really, come on, guys. I'm just showing you my stack. I'm showing off my stack because I, I don't have anyone else to show it to. And, you know, I, I really don't want to do it locally. I don't want to go knock on my neighbor's door. Hey, come look at my silver. I mean, no, that's, you know, I don't really tell too many people about it. I have my best friend calls me Mr. Miser because I'm liquidating stuff. He's concerned that, you know, I might want to end it all. Uh, because I'm, I'm selling all kinds of stuff that he considers that, you know, well, you shouldn't be selling that stuff. But and it's like I told him, it's, you know, it, I'm turning stuff that I've already purchased back into money so that I can purchase silver. Some of the stuff I've collected over the years has been sitting around for 10 years just collecting dust. And if it's going to collect dust... I'd like to be happy when I brush the dust off, especially if it's shiny, like the silver. 
but I'm starting to ramble. Um, back on topic. It's, um, you know, it, people that are negative like that, it makes them feel better to come down on someone else and tell them how they're doing it wrong or you're stupid for stacking it in silver, that you should be doing it in gold or platinum or palladium or, or ammo or, you know, who cares? It's how you want to do it. I mean, really, who, who is, who am I hurting stacking the silver the way I do in little increments at a time? Because that's all I can do. You know, to me, it's always, an, un, it's always exciting for an unboxing. Matter of fact, my biggest kick is watching new stackers, the, although I'm not, you know, an, an old stacker by any means. I've only been doing it two and a half months. But watching these new stackers showing off their stuff, that's that's awesome. I mean, they're excited. I love the excitement. Um, it would be kind of boring if you clicked on YouTube one day and all the videos was people unboxing one ounce at a time of American Silver Eagle. I mean, I like looking at the variety and truthfully the different amounts. I, I'm really glad that some people can stack big quantities in one go. It's just I can't. And you know what? The world goes on and nothing stops because I do it differently than the other person and they do it differently than another person. So my advice, not that it matters, keep on stacking the way you like and have a nice day and ignore the naysayers and the doomslayers. Me, I'm not really the jester. I uh, try to keep my political views to myself and let life go on. It's, there's no reason to impose my will on how to do something for someone else. Anyhow, as always, keep on stacking and have a nice day. gonna say okay try again edit this is my video response to epic RV I must be obl oblivious here we go I can almost say words uh, semi new mis I don't know and a few things about me um, I don't live in a cellar or a cave let me try that again edit all right enough about my face back on topic a few things about me I don't live in a cellar fondling or hoarding my my gold and silver because it's kind of hard to hold or oh boy edit it's kind of hard to hoard and f oh my edit hey how about we just start over <laughs>